Hey learners, how are you doing today? Today I want to do a book review and I'm sure it will be the first of many because I've had so many books completely transform my way of thinking and give me fresh perspective on a life I'm already living. But this was one, oh my gosh, boundaries. <laughs> if you're a friend of mine, you'll hear me talk about this all the time because the concept was so new to me and has been so monumental in helping me live a happy, fulfilled life that I just like, I have to share this with everyone. So I'm happy to share it with you. I will go ahead and um, link it in the description box below if you can, if you're wanting to check it out as well. It's, I highly recommend this book. So it is a Christian based book. If that's not something you feel like you might be interested in, I, I actually encourage you to read it anyway. Um, the idea is very universal. The idea is very relatable because a lot of us overextend and overcommit our time and we want to be all things to all people and that's not how we were created to be. We were created to be stewards over something um, limited and overextending past that limit or boundary would make us depleted and not useful for what we're trying to do or accomplish. The idea was new to me. I, I thought as a Christian I had to be Yes, 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 yes. And be all things to all people, like I said, that I had to um, say yes every time it was a good, a good cause. And I quickly burnt myself out. Motherhood was a huge eye opener for me and the things that I needed to change so that I could teach my littles the right way. And I didn't want them to ever learn that life was supposed to feel tired or stressed out or exhausting or anxious. That life is meant to be free and life is meant to be um, lived well and on purpose and intentionally. And so that's the kind of life I'm living now and I highly regard it because of this book. A lot of Christian would, Christians would say that the Bible is where the wisdom is at and I agree with that but a lot of what comes in from this book is in the Bible. I had just never heard it before. It talks about how you can say no and still be a loving person. You can be still you can still be kind. It just you have to show people where you're willing to go. So, because pe let's just face it, pe I would say most people are wanting of our time, our energy, our money, and our resources. And if you're constantly giving out of those things and not necessarily to where you're supposed to be giving. Um, you will quickly deplete and overburn and, and burn out. Uh, it also talks about how you might feel guilty when you're setting up boundaries for the first time. Um, that was hard for me. I wanted to keep saying yes and I couldn't because I knew what I knew now and I had to say no to a lot of things in this season of reading this book and, and I felt bad. I felt like people, like I was letting people down and, and I might have been, but that's okay. People's responses to our no is not our problem. They might react angrily. They might react um, just not understanding. But why wouldn't you want to do that? Like, you might be helping someone. But yeah, I can't. I can't do everything. My right now, my boundary exists within um, my household and taking care of my family and my husband. And and I really enjoy where I'm at, you guys. Like, I'm so thankful for my husband because he was, he was actually a key person in showing me that I needed the, these set up in my life. I remember this, I mean, story time. I remember this one time um, I had just had another breakdown. I, I cried a lot in the beginning days of having kids and I don't think it was postpartum. I think it was more of me just being overcommitted and overwhelmed and wanting to still do all the things I did before having kids and it didn't work that way because Babies are a lot of time and they're worth it, but they're a lot of time. And so he sat me down and said, Lauren, you have to, he said, and I quote, schedule your time out militantly because you're going crazy. And I was. And so I'm, I'm so thankful for him. I love him. I'm glad I was, I had someone loving to show me how I needed some, some structure and some, some boundaries in my time. So it does talk about Boundaries in your family, boundaries with your kids, your spouse, your coworkers, social media boundaries, which I thought was very timely for the age we're in. Uh, time and so and boundaries with yourself. Uh, I thought that was a particularly good, good portion of the book. 
But this book, guys, it will bring uh, a lot of freedom that you might be looking for. It will bring a lot of joy that you might be looking for and just lightheartedness. The freedom that God created us for and that God was, that God meant for us to have. So whoever you are, he created you for something amazing and this will help you get there. So like I said, I'll link the book in the description box below and I am so excited for those of you who have read it before. This is my first copy of this book. I, I had read it, I think, digitally and then my, my sweet girlfriends in my book club did a book exchange for Christmas and someone gave this to me. So I was like, yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm able to, I think I'm gonna read it again actually. It was that good. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment or like if you've already read this book. Share it with someone you think might be helpful to them. But more than anything, go get messy, have fun, and learn. I will see you soon.